This is Freckles. Freckles is a blue old English bantam and she's naughty. And her and two of her compadres jumped out of their coop, which is over there. You can see it now or in a moment. You can't really have them jumping out for obvious reasons, predation. Uh, but they don't have an overhead net because they haven't needed one up to this point. So we're going to only clip the wings of the offenders for now. And if anyone else gets out, then we'll do the same. Um, but I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. It's very pain-free for the bird. So you can see there's kind of a divide right here in what is the secondary feathers and the flight feathers. Um, there's more there. I just can't really. There's usually like eight that need to be clipped. So I like to follow this uh, natural curvature. You're not gonna hurt your chicken at all. That's it, easy peasy. Some people only do one side. I like to do both just for symmetry reasons and why not. With regular sized chickens, I can't do this by myself. I need someone to hold the wing and someone to do the cutting, but she is very tiny. I recommend choosing your sharpest scissors, which I did not do this time. All right, she's all done. Easy, Freckles. Okay, we'll do the other easy one next, and then we'll do the challenge, challenge mode. This is Haiku. Haiku is a buff Japanese bantam. You can actually see she's been clipped before, but once they, uh, once a few of them grow back, the flight returns. Boop, sorry Haiku. You've been a troublemaker though, not sorry. But yeah, as you can see, it's not causing her any discomfort. And we only do it if we have to. You can also see, I should have showed more detail on the other side, but the cool thing about when chickens or birds in general molt is they will lose the same feather on each side at the same time. So on the other side, you might have noticed that the same three hadn't grown back yet and the front ones had. Um, and that's pretty standard for all birds. It's a pretty cool um, adaption they have to stay balanced. So they'll always lose the same feather on the same side at the same time, or on the opposite side at the same time. Good job, Haiku. <laughs> She's flighty, we don't get to hold her very much, so this is kind of nice. Sweet Haiku. She's so sweet. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if I can do this without help. Yeah. This is Shelby. Shelby is also a blue old English bantam, um, a male, obviously. He, look at these spurs on him. He's tiny, but he is so mighty. He actually got me, you might have seen in a video, he got me on the foot recently because I'm dumb and I wear sandals on the farm. And um, it still hurts. That was probably two weeks ago. My foot blew up like a balloon. I couldn't wear a shoe. I went and did uh, errands with no shoe on. It really hurt. Thought True hobo mode, engage. But um, <clears throat> he's actually being all right right now. I don't really want to have to cut his wings because he's a really good protector. But he can't protect everybody if he's out here doing his own thing. Wow, look how beautiful he is. Look at his feathers. He is Can you see gorgeous. all those colors? He's so pretty. Let me get a little closer. Look at all of his colors. I think he's technically a self blue. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. I thought one was a self blue and one was a true blue. Yeah, so Freckles was a true blue, which is interesting because she's speckly, so I don't know why. No. He's a silver blue. She's a self blue. And Puff is Puff the true is... blue. Yes. Or what? It's one of those three. We have a self blue, a true blue, and a silver blue. I'm gonna give Shelby some love too, because that's very rare. He's not a mean guy, he just can't really differentiate when he needs to protect and when he needs to love. Shall we take him for an introduction? 
for the only time it's safe with the baby while you're holding him? Oh gosh, I still am not sure, but I guess. She, she wants it. She needs to see a chicken. She's been really good. Hey, this is Shelby. He's our probably most dangerous animal that we have here. Not even kidding. Pet? Let your kids do dangerous things safely. Huh. Then the hope is they won't try to do dangerous things dangerously. You wanna pet again nicely? I have a really good hold on him. I want you to see. Um, I would never put my baby in danger. Is there a name but for this hold? No. The Jersey Mike's? But just, the Jersey Mike's. Um, just a good kind of animal handling rule is you always want control of the weapons first, obviously. So on him, his weapons are his feet. So I have good control of his feet. And, and, and you've also got his wings holds. pinned as you, well? Yeah. So if he had his wings, he could get his feet free. Kiss. Um, you never want to hold a chicken by their lower joints either. It could break the legs. So I'm holding him by his upper joints. They're a lot stronger. One more pet. He's starting to get squirmy, okay? Nice pets. <laughs> he did a really great job. Proud of him. Love him. Best rooster we've ever had. Love you, Shelby. Please stop escaping. I don't know if you can anymore. Look at those wings. Beautiful. And that's what a nice, fresh clipped wing looks like. He looks so good. He's a beautiful boy.